Nature is sending us a message. The COVID-19 crisis has signaled a larger breakdown of nature and climate. Rising temperatures and sea levels, rapid decline and extinction of species, extraordinary levels of hunger and food insecurity. These are all making us more vulnerable. But the time is now for us to take bold steps to reach our goals and reshape what sustainability and well-being mean. For us to build back better and listen to what nature is trying to tell us. Scientific, local and traditional knowledge need to help shape the right policies to protect, conserve and restore our ecosystems. When this does not happen, we see the cracks appear. Sectors like agriculture, environment, health and economy frequently work in silos. Communities, particularly indigenous peoples, often witness the first-hand impacts of biodiversity loss. Yet, they don't always get a seat at the decision-making table. We cannot face these planetary challenges without working and finding solutions together, united. The Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services Network, or BESNET, is a unique collaboration to build capacity and commitment for solutions to tackle biodiversity loss and ecosystem restoration. Funded by the Government of Germany, BESNET offers a range of tools and services to policymakers, scientists and community organizations across the world. One of them is the Trilog, a way to facilitate trust, collaboration and open dialogue among these three groups. Now what is special about Trilogs? Winning hearts and minds and awakening all five senses to be open to experiences and learning. From Africa to Eastern Europe, from Central Asia to Latin America and the Caribbean, these Trilogs have engaged over 20 countries and nearly 300 people from diverse backgrounds. Participants rise to influence policy processes and get seed funds to implement nature-based solutions and mobilize others to join their quest for a better planet. As we recover and rise to face climate change, we all have a choice to make. Can we forge a path coming out of this pandemic that values the role nature plays in our lives? Can we listen and communicate better in policy and practical action? Can we put nature first?